Hello everybody. Today we are coming to you from the UK Pavilion here at Epcot. Mainly due to the fact that I've had a few people who've asked me something that they noticed on another person's Instagram page and they were like, is this true? And it's not, but we're <laughs> here to kind of talk a little bit about this building right here in front of us. Because this building, of course, is home to the tea shop here at the UK Pavilion, but it also has a very interesting history about it, but the history that people have been saying online is not the history that is actually true. So a lot of people have been saying that this is partially part of William Shakespeare's house. And then I looked further into it, and some people actually have believed that... The, oh, we get DuckTales is going on behind us here. <laughs> no one's even here playing it. It's right here. <laughs> but anyways... Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I don't even know who's playing the game right now. This is hilarious. There's no one around. Anyways, so someone is claiming that they have taken part of William Shakespeare's house and taken parts of the walls and different things and placed it here at Epcot. This is completely false. But this building does have a William Shakespeare connection. So that might be where people are getting kind of confused. Because this is not actually from the UK, but it is a reproduction of a house that is in the UK. And it's none other than Anne Hathaway's house. And I know what you're thinking. Princess Diaries Anne Hathaway? Well, no. So there was another Anne Hathaway who knew that there could be more than one person with the same name. But Anne Hathaway, who grew up in Shakespeare's time had a childhood home that was almost exactly like this. Almost an exact duplicate of this. And Anne Hathaway would actually go on to marry the one and only William Shakespeare from Romeo and Juliet. And that's the only thing he ever wrote. No Hamlet and all the other stuff. But this is actually a reproduction of what Anne Hathaway's childhood home looked like, which William Shakespeare did visit on occasion, and I don't know if it's 100% true, but I heard that he purchased it at one point. This could be true. It might not be true. I have not heard the full story of that, but this is how there is a William Shakespeare connection. So next time you're out there on Instagram and you see people saying, did you know that William Shakespeare's house is duplicated here at Epcot or taken parts of it or actually taken? That's the part that threw me off. I was like, wait a minute, parts of it were taken from his house and put, no, that's not true at all. But you can then correct the people and say, actually, it was not William Shakespeare's house, but it's a reproduction of Anne Hathaway's house, wife of William Shakespeare. So there are so many different buildings in World Showcase that have connections to different characters or different people that it just kind of makes sense that in the future we'll be doing more of these videos covering the different buildings that are found around World Showcase because they all have a connection. They all have a meaning of something and they're all actually based off of different places found around the world. So if you want to hear more about these things, make sure you subscribe to this channel and of course like the video as well to let other people know that it's a good video that they should check out. But of course, as always, I hope everyone out there is having a great day and we will see you all once again tomorrow for another Disney video. Oh yeah.